Hello and welcome back to Coin Matters channel. Below the 73 cents area, this line represents significant resistance for XRP. Keywords, XRP coding by Hugh the Road to Valhalla is marked by the signal. As of right now, we are still in the accumulation zone till we reach the lower yellow area. For hashtag XRP to break into the clear zone, believers are required. We may experience a slowdown until the first quarter of 2024. The expert also stressed the significance of XRP entering the white area, which is where the price of XRP is most likely to increase dramatically. To some extent, I served as a financial educator. Subscribe and give the channel a thumbs up if you want to better your financial future. If you see value in this film, you can sort the white space between $0.073 and $2 by how much you're willing to pay. However, the crypto expert warned that if XRP doesn't break over the yellow area, it might become extremely bearish. Despite the caution for a possible slump, Greg mentioned that Ripple could still increase towards the Valhalla zone, signaling strong performance, and this might even retract the price of the token until Q1 2024. Wave 1 of this price increase, he said, could see XRP rise to between $2.80 and $4.60. The researchers also noted that if Ripple drops from the Valhalla area and corrects to a trading price of $1 before soaring again, it might be considered to have hit Wave 3. According to Egrid, the length of Wave 3 is approximately 2,618 times that of Wave 1, 1618 times multiplied by 2. In addition, he estimated two different rates for Wave 3, $12 and $50, depending on its duration. Meanwhile, XRP has fallen 1.6% in the last 24 hours, trading at $0.5034 at the time of writing. There is a silver lining to XRP's pricing action. OneCoin's price action is particularly intriguing right now as the cryptocurrency sector deals with a concoction of governmental constraints and market volatility, and it may offer some good news for investors. XRP investors saw a strange phenomena yesterday when the release of the Hinman documents triggered a sudden increase in the cryptocurrency's price. At first sight, this may appear like standard market behavior, but the subsequent response stands out. A large amount of sellers stepped in very instantly to counteract the price increase, indicating that this was a calculated action. Someone, or a group of someones, must have anticipated this price pump given the suddenness of the selling pressure. They apparently had funds ready to sell or dump in order to preserve some measure of market control and keep the price low. This suggests that there are groups attempting to manipulate the XRP price for their own gain. As the summary judgment on XRP approaches, it will be interesting to see if a similar trend emerges, which is why this topic is of interest. Another price increase is possible in response to the news, which will clarify XRP's regulatory status. In that case, the same institutions might try to use their cash on hand to keep prices down. However, a fascinating mystery still stands. Will this measure of repression be effective in lowering demand? What the answer will be, if any, depends on whether or not XRP receives regulatory clarification. Any efforts to keep the price of XRP down could be overwhelmed by surging demand if the cryptocurrency is granted definitive official status. This unusual price action may have some positive implications. It's possible that XRP's price will spike significantly if efforts to dampen demand are unsuccessful and good regulatory news drives higher demand. Court Listener, an established website for legal studies, presented these exhibits. By the time the SEC brought accusations against Ripple in December 2020, Larson may have sold off more than $453.69 million worth of his XRP assets, as evidenced by Exhibit 81. According to the filing, since 2017, the Ripple co-founder has sold $58.47 million worth of XRP on U.S.-based exchanges like Coinbase, Kraken, and Poloniex. Poloniex was the most active of these marketplaces, facilitating $43.3 million in XRP trades. In addition, by December 2020, Garlinghouse had sold out XRP worth $164.26 million, as shown in Exhibit 82. 
Garlinghouse made a profit of $155.81 million, or $8.44 million in U.S. dollars, from the sale of Zorp. Investors have pointed out that there is nothing inherently wrong with Larson and Garlinghouse's sales, thus this shouldn't be taken as an indictment of their business practices. Notably, rumors have surfaced stating that other Ripple co-founders have been selling equities at the same time as Jed McCaleb has been actively selling his SRP equities. When Ripple was still called OpenCoin, its three original founders, McCaleb Larson, Arthur Brito, and themselves, shared a total of 20 billion XP tokens. McCaleb began liquidating his assets after he left Ripple in 2013. Over the years, this dispersion continued to lessen the market influence. According to the Crypto Basic, in July of last year, McCaleb sold off his final million XRP tokens. Shortly after McCaleb divested all of his holdings, Garlinghouse made a sarcastic reference to the distribution drive. According to Ripple, XRP itself is not a security because of Hinman's comments. Stuart Alderity, Ripple's chief legal officer, has demanded a probe into former SEC Director Hinman, alleging that Hinman ignored apparent conflicts of interest and that the SEC later promoted the speech while knowing it would further confuse the market. Let's start focusing on Polygon now. Polygon is showing resiliency despite regulatory headwinds in the Bitcoin business. Positive momentum appears to be building for Matic in particular, with a high volume of buy trades. In spite of the bureaucratic roadblocks, Polygon still has some interesting news to share. Concerns have been raised concerning the intentions and activities of some players in the XRP market as a result of this pattern of behavior. It would appear that these organizations had planned ahead for the price increase, positioning themselves strategically to unload SRP and dampen the market. These fluctuating market conditions add to the crypto industry's general air of mystery and volatility. Investors are waiting for the summary judgment news to hit the wires so they can better understand how XRP will be regulated. It's probable that traders and investors will respond to this news with caution and by weighing all of their options. In the absence of definitive regulatory guidance, it is difficult to predict how these measures may affect market demand. The XRP community is watching for regulatory decisions that may have a major impact on the digital currency's future. Traders and investors must stay informed, cautious, and flexible as the cryptocurrency market continues to see fast change. By keeping a careful eye on market trends. Keeping up with the latest research and regulations is essential. The XRP ecosystem provides market actors with the means to overcome obstacles and seize opportunities. To succeed in the crypto market, one must have a deep comprehension of market dynamics and the agility to successfully respond to market forces. You're welcome for viewing. Please hit the like button and sign up for my channel. See you in the next video. Bye.